Alam mo ba na merong ahas na mukhang vines o bagging? Alright guys, look what we have here. This is an Asian vine snake. And I'm sure you've probably seen this if you've been... Kung napapadpad kayo sa mga places na may mga shrub, sa mga gubat, you probably see this a lot. They're very common here in the Philippines. Especially here where I am right now, which is in Laguna. Now, Asian vine snakes are very, very interesting species of snakes. And let me just show you guys real quick. They are called Asian vine snakes because they look like vines. Look at that. Look how thin its body is. Look at the color. It's also green. Just like vines. And I want you to notice its head shape. It has a pointed head. And, oh no, it's going out of focus. If you notice the eyes, unlike other snakes we commonly see, they have horizontal pupils. So there is a reason why these guys have horizontal pupils, and that's because they have what you call binocular vision. And that means they're able to see a lot more things in their surrounding compared to other snakes that don't have those horizontal eyes, that have slit eyes. Sila, nakikita nila yung mga paligid nila. Parang tayo na we have peripheral vision. Sila, mas malinaw sa kanila yung mga peripherals nila dahil um, kitang-kita nila yung mga gilid. Which is very important for them because they like to stay in branches. They like to stay in branches na hindi masyadong blocked by other trees so that, so that they have a good view of everything. And they actively hunt for their prey items. So they really need good eyesight. And of course, they're really great at camouflaging because these guys will, again, hang out in trees just looking like branches and those prey items won't even see it coming because all they'll think is, oh, this is just another vine. Now, speaking of their camouflage, if you notice, unlike other snakes, it sticks its tongue out for a long period of time. And that's because its tongue is supposed to look like the tip of leaves. So that's an additional way to help it camouflage. So these snakes are mildly venomous, which means they have venom, of course, and their prey items are usually mga lizards, animals that you can find in trees as well. But even if they are mildly venomous, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're deadly, and that they can cause significant harm to humans, unless you are allergic to that venom. They are also rear fanged, so that means for you to be envenomated, just because you get bitten, or just because makagat ka, doesn't mean na may envenomate ka. Kailangan nga, kailangan nang nguyain ka niya para malagyang ka talaga ng venom niya. So it needs to actually chew on you for it to inject venom into your system because it is rear fanged. Yeah. So look at its body. Kita mo na ang haba-haba ng katawan niya. It has a really long, slender body. And they come in different color variations like yellow, green, or blue. When they feel threatened, they will puff up and show their beautifully blue bandings in between their scales. Can't see it now because it's kind of relaxed. But So yeah, these are very interesting creatures and they can be found throughout Southeast Asia. Very amazing, peculiar looking species. These guys can be found all across Southeast Asia and can grow up to about five feet. They are very important in preserving the balance of life by balancing populations of pests and other animals that they eat while also serving as prey to bigger animals as well. Because you know, every piece of wildlife matters.